So for those of you who missed it, uh, last week I uploaded a video on training volume and training frequency, where I laid out my current beliefs on how many sets you should do per week and how you should split those sets up. Generally, for the most part, most people are gonna wanna be somewhere in this range. Somewhere in between 10 sets per body part per week and 20 sets uh, per body part per week. And now I got a healthy amount of backlash in the comment section of that video, uh, mostly in the form of people just saying that my volume recommendations were too low. Now in the video, I drew up a rough sketch of the volume hypertrophy relationship using a graph where I showed that you can get the majority of your gains potential with just 10 weekly sets per body part and that going up to 20 sets would get you some more gains, but they would be diminishing. And then once you get somewhere in the 20 to 30 sets per week zone, you potentially start running into overtraining issues, which could actually dampen your gains. Now first, these numbers are pulling from a systematic review and meta-analysis published in 2017 by Dr. Brad Schoenfeld, Dan Ogborn, and James Krieger, which found that doing more than 10 sets per week showed significantly more gains, in fact, almost double the gains of doing less than 10 sets per week. Now this data didn't exactly tell us where that upper limit is, uh, but expert opinion, including that of the researchers themselves, told us that somewhere in the 10 to 20 sets per week zone was probably the sweet spot. And doing more than that would likely not do anything extra and could potentially cause overtraining and dampen hypertrophy. And also these ideas coincide with MRV concepts developed by Dr. Mike Isertel, for the average intermediate, something like 10 sets per week per body part is the minimum effective volume for a lot of people. 20 sets is not a magic number because there are no magic numbers. But like, if you're consistently doing more than 20 sets per body part per week and your progress sucks and you feel like your recovery is burdened, eh, you got to think about probably doing less. Whereas like if you're doing eight sets per week and you think like, oh, this isn't working, you're probably not doing too much. Uh, but last week, some of the more astute amongst my subscribers pointed me in the direction of some new research from James Krieger, implying that maybe there is no upper limit to the amount of volume you can do, and just more is better. The more volume you can do, the more gains you'll get. So rather than just speculate on this, I figured I'd cut right to the chase and get James Krieger on the line and see what the deal is. All right. Hey, James, how's it going? Good. Good, man. Thanks. I'm gonna show you a sketch of a graph that I drew up. I'm gonna actually just put it up here. So I don't know if you can see this here on the x-axis is volume. Somewhere here around 10 sets, I've kind of got, you know, you can get most of the gains at 10 sets, yeah. get a little bit more at 20. And then at some point over here, you start to see no more returns. And then eventually you start to see it uh, start to drop off. I'm curious your thoughts on that graph in light of the new research. And if you think you can do it better, how, how you would. So yeah, it, it's interesting because I would have drawn the graph very similarly to you until recently. <laughs> There's data that is going to be out, <laughs> probably kind of below the whole idea of volume, you know, where the upper limit of volume is out of the water. Based on some of the data I'm seeing, even if you go up to 20, 30 sets, you can get significantly more gains than with 10 sets. So after speaking with James, I started thinking that Perhaps the graph might look something more like this, and where that upper limit is, maybe we just don't know yet. Uh, so a few other interesting things I got from this call. While there have been some studies that have shown a plateau in gains, uh, there hasn't been a single study that actually shows a loss in muscle mass from increasing volume. Um, so any guesses on where that upper limit might be will be speculative and probably based on experience as much as the actual research. Also, all of these volume landmarks are very exercise specific. Some exercises will just be much more damaging and affect recovery much more than others. Um, so for example, a set of heavy Romanian deadlifts may not count in the same way as a set of leg curls. Uh, so volume clearly isn't the only thing that matters, even though it is very important. And finally, just because we haven't necessarily found an upper limit in the research where volume becomes detrimental for hypertrophy, uh, that isn't necessarily an across the board endorsement for trainees, uh, especially beginners, to do as much volume as possible. My only hesitation in someone who, uh, someone who's kind of presenting this science to the public is that you don't want people to misinterpret it and be like, I got to do as many sets as possible. Because I know, exactly. And that's why I'm always adding all these caveats. I'm like, you know, you got to think about this and think about that, you know, because I, I get that concern too, that people are going to suddenly take this data and say, oh my God, we got to do 45 weekly sets per body part, you know, and stuff like that. And yeah. I just think the more important takeaway, I think for me at least is if you're not gaining size, 
and you've got room to b- bump your volume up, then that might be your first, uh, the first thing to try. And on our call, James talked about potential utility in running specialization phases, where you might jack the volume up to say uh, 30 sets for one body part while putting the rest at maintenance volume. So say 10 to 20 sets, and then cycling through different body parts. I mean, you'd wanna prioritize your weak points or areas that you're trying to improve the most. And I would say that this could be particularly useful in more highly advanced trainings. So I think that getting back to my graph, most things still hold. Uh, we do know that 10 sets per week is a lot better than doing less than that. And many trainees can get a good deal of gains at this volume, especially beginners. Uh, but what happens after this point here is difficult to say. And based on the current research, might be better left off with a bunch of question marks for now. Uh, And I do think that past the 20 sets mark, uh, in practice, it will become a bit more of a balancing act where yes, more volume may get you more results, but if you push it too far, an injury could set you back much further than the marginal gains would be worth to begin with. So like always, it's important to keep these general ballparks in mind and carefully monitor your own progress and your own recovery, uh, adjusting volume up or down, depending on where you are and where you want to be. Okay, so guys, I hope that that one was informative. Uh, Please leave me a like if you enjoyed the video and just let me know if you like these interview snippets kind of integrated into the video like this. And make sure you guys check out James's research review. I'll have that linked in the description box below. Uh, It's seriously uh, amazing. And please subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll see you guys all here in the next video.